Mm -hmm. I love him very much and only want to be with him. However, he has a friend that comes around often and he is always very sweet and attractive. For some reason, I find myself thinking about him more than I should. What? That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. What's up y'all? Hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha and we are back with another video. Before we get into it, I wanna ask you guys to please thumbs it up if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. If you are new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby, tell them what we doing. Today, you guys, we are doing the seafood boil. We have one new viewer sauce, so shout out to Leah Sneed. And I think we're doing a viewer topic or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Then let's get into the video. All right guys, we're back. So today we got Snow crab, Dungeness crab, lobster tails, giant shrimp, sausage, and roasted potatoes. And I also got a stack of toast here, y'all. Y'all know I love my, my bread. So, I was playing. What, that wasn't it? <coughs> Tasha did something new with her sauce. It's okay, it's not bad. It's half the calories of butter. I use Benacol, Benacol, whatever. It's one of the healthiest. I'm gonna go back to unhealthy after this. Just saying, cause this this ain't it. But it's it's okay. Mm. It's gonna work. Mm -hmm. So let me tell y'all about this new sauce I have here. It's very basic. I wanted to try it though because um, it's a sauce with vinegar in it, and y'all know I've been asking you guys to send me vinegar-based sauces. So Leah Sneed sent me this. And she said DMV sauce. So I guess this is their traditional sauce. Mm. And that's what, D Detroit, Maryland, and Virginia, I think? DMV? Yeah. Is that right, y'all? I don't mm -hmm. know. So I guess they use this there. And it's butter, ove, vinegar, and hot sauce. Very okay. simple. That's it. Okay. My babe sauteed the shrimp for me today. And oh. I left the dookie in. Absolutely. No, I didn't. <laughs> I cleaned it out. Oh, you did? Yeah. All right, y'all. Whew. It's buttery as heck. I didn't get any measurements, y'all, though, so I don't know if this is how it's supposed to taste or not. Okay. So I did my best. Mm. Ooh. That's it. good. Especially with this sauteed shrimp. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's good. Mmm. Okay, DMV. I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all. DMV. Let me try it with a little bread. I like this. When I was making it, I was tasting it because I, you know, I wanted to make sure it was tasting good, and I was putting, you know, a good balance of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. It was super tangy. I was like, ooh, ooh, that was perfect. Yeah, okay. but it's good, huh? Mm -hmm. It's good with the seafood. Mm -hmm. I like tangy. I like this. Mm -hmm. The only thing <laughs> is that I can't do this a lot because it's just butter. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> uh-huh. And I, I don't like to eat a whole bunch of butter, y'all. Not because I don't want to. <laughs> but, ooh, that's bomb. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it will taste being watered down. That's bomb. It is. Let me try it with some lobster, y'all. Ooh, this lobster is good. good. It's still tender as heck. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Very well, well cooked. Um This is totally off topic, y'all. Can y'all stop taking the toilet paper, please? <laughs> we need some, y'all. Mm. Oh, Leah, thank you. Thank you, I'm Leah. really enjoying the sauce. If anybody does this sauce, but has, a, has some measurements, 
Send it to me. Because I want to try to make it exactly how you guys do it. But this is mine. Let me see if I can break this. Because this is hard to break. I told you you shouldn't dig these shells. You did? Could have been eating right now. Yep. Um. But I, I didn't know. I'm thinking we're not using the same sauce, so. It would have been, like been hot heated if you had to eat this one. Because I'm going to tell y'all what. It's good, though. Mm. I ain't going to lie. The butter just butter is better. Ooh, it's um. So, y'all, this weekend we did um, I took Tasha out on a date to our living room. Yeah. She took I'll me vlog. out. I vlogged um like my setup and oh have you edited a little it bit yet? of her reaction no I ain't edited it yet. okay but we had fun y'all I had like fuck you the kitchen part of the living room set up like a restaurant and then I have the game room slash bar on the other side of the living room it was fun y'all I think at one point we was dancing <laughs> yeah <laughs> we had a good time We had an entire date night. From the root to the tutor. <coughs> it was fun. I'm sure some people do. So yeah, you know, what I was gonna say was, um, if you got a, a mate, especially like if you're not in the beginning of y'all's relationship, y'all gotta remember to keep that, keep the fun up and continue to do stuff for each other. So, you know, I don't know. I just think that's, it's kind of necessary, you know? It is necessary. I mean, it's nice to do. You forget sometimes, though. Exactly. Get caught up in the routine of everything, taking care of the kids, working. Work is a lot. Yeah, I think work, you know, and then you work together as a, when you have kids, even if you don't have kids, but if you have kids, you work together as a family to make sure things are all set right and you forget about the time exactly. you need for your relationship. Yeah. Yep, that's true. <clears throat> like the last what two two years that we've been doing YouTube heavily mm. wow. we have neglected a lot I mean we used to be out and having fun all the time now and that went from that to zero <laughs> yeah that's the that was the problem for me going mm -hmm. from zero I'm sorry going from a hundred so to much. zero mm -hmm. we're about to read the topic I don't know if we're gonna do two or one. I guess we'll see. Probably just one knowing us. Hold up. I'll do it. <clears throat> Dungeness crab, y'all. Oh, I forgot I don't have a thing to hold my phone. <clears throat> I've been with my fiance now for five years and we have two beautiful kids together. He's a wonderful provider, father, and all around great man. I love him very much and only want to be with him. However, he has a friend that comes around often and it is, I'm sorry, and he is always very sweet and attractive. For some reason, I find myself thinking about him more than I should. What? He's never made any accusations towards me. Accusations? And I'm never him. I think she means he's never tried to uh, flirt with her. Okay. <clears throat> and she's never flirted with him. Okay. We text every now and then, but it's harmless and my fiance knows about our conversations. Mm -mm. So they must have, they must all be mutual friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, Stephanie has a friend who um, is her oh, yeah. friend, but we'll text here and there. Right. You know? Um, yeah, that's true. You know, so it's probably the sim similar to that. Right. Um, so then she says, I just can't help but think about him when I know I shouldn't be. I guess my question for y'all is, why do you think I can't get him out of my head? Do you think I need to stop texting him completely? Should I tell my fiance? Hell no. Love y'all and hope you have some helpful advice. Do not tell your fiance. That is crazy. No. Yeah, when you said that they were texting and I said, uh-uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that I didn't think that um, that's like, a common thing it's just that like if you know you have feelings then you should distance yourself yeah you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. don't be talking to him yeah you know for sure if you know you like him you shouldn't talk to him um so i kind of have um 
and experience this. Okay. Um, so I was with somebody. I ain't gonna even get too much into who who it was and all that, y'all, because I don't know, whatever. But I was with somebody. Now I will say this, this was like at the end of my relationship with the person. So our our stuff was bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we were like I was all in love like I am with you and I just happened to start liking somebody else. Mm hmm We were on our last leg. Okay. okay. But that still doesn't make this okay. Okay. Um and the friend was not their friend. We met the, the person through another friend. And we both met this person at the same time. But we were hanging around with the person. So you guys you were mutual friends then? Yes. Uh -huh. But what I'm saying, it's not it was that person's friend and then I just met him. Yeah. But the person was both of our friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, okay. So I found myself starting to be attracted to the person. After your relationship? Did I ever say anything? Hell no. Even though I knew the relationship between me and my person was about to end anyway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just didn't, it wasn't appropriate. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I was talking to one of our friends. Okay. But I was never going to say nothing. Right. I would never say anything. No. Just keep that um, to yourself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ignore your feelings. It's, this your fiance. You're planning on spending the rest of your life with this person. I mean, you might want to evaluate that decision. You know, and make sure you are doing this with the right person. That's what I was you know going to say. I feel like um, if you want to be with your fiance mm -hmm. and you are sure that you want to be with him, maybe she's not sure. I right. mean, you're thinking about somebody exactly. else. So I don't think that would ever happen with me and you. Correct. Because my, my heart is all the way. You have it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no space for nobody to come in and be like, ooh, I mean, I can say somebody's cute. Even... They have a great personality, but I ain't gonna be like, oh, I like them and want to do something. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But no. the, the thing also is, um, it being his friend That's seems cool. a little um, strange for me. It's saying a lot, like you're open to his friend, his friend, which means you will probably be open to somebody else as well. So, girl, you gotta get that out your head. Mm hmm. Even if y'all broke up. That wouldn't be appropriate. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she didn't say that she's been said. She said anything to him, and he didn't say anything to her. So, right? She just having feelings. Don't say anything to him. Don't say anything to his friend. And if you say something to your fiance, don't tell him how you feel. Just, I mean, don't tell him who you like. You could just tell him that you might have feelings for other people, or you're not sure what you want. Maybe you're bored with your fiance. Maybe he's say, not giving you. I was something. gonna say yes. That's what I was exactly what I was gonna say. I'm sorry for interrupting. No, I'm good. I'm I was going to say, like, think about what you are liking about this person. And maybe that's something that you're not getting from your fiance. Like, mm -hmm. she, she mentioned that he's very nice. Yeah. Is that something that you're missing from your fiance? Like, she you said know? her fiance was nice. She, she said, said he's everybody nice. She said he's a great guy. Oh, everybody nice. She said great man, husband, oh, uh, great you man, great much. father. <laughs> you just want your cake and you want to eat it too mm -hmm. you know you can't you can't do that there's nothing wrong with being attracted to people it happens in life mm -hmm. you can't help the fact that you're attracted to his friend but you need to just act like you're not right but if you feel like you're missing some excitement or something from your fiance well you better spruce it up yourself tell him something and try to work it out yeah but you're probably not gonna be with this guy but you also don't want to be with somebody who you're not gonna be happy with for the rest of your life either. So you got you need to think about both of these things, you know. Even if she does ignore her feelings for the guy, think about why your your heart is kind of open, right? You know. I feel like maybe she's just <clears throat> excuse me bored. Could be. Um, bored with maybe even being in a relationship. Not a relationship is not for everybody at every time. Just because you have kids doesn't mean you're ready. Yep. But don't marry him yet right. until that's out of your system because a lot of people cheat anyway. Okay. Yep, I agree with that. You don't want to cheat on your husband. You don't want to ruin that relationship, that friendship. You never know. Maybe he is thinking about something too. Other women too. Ooh. Maybe you guys can do something yeah. strange. I don't know. Think about that, girl. How would you feel? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How would you? Yeah, that's a good. That's a good thing to do. Put mm -hmm. yourself in his shoes. If he liked one of your friends, how would you feel? Would you want him more? 
you know, would you feel like, oh my God, I'm losing him. And then, you know, just, yeah, put yourself in those shoes. If you were to lose him, what would you do? Would you care? If you were to, do you kind of wish you did lose him so you could be with his friend? I mean, if you're feeling certain kind of ways, I'm not saying be with no. his friend. You definitely don't need to be with his friend, but you don't need to be don't with him. Don't ever do that. But, I mean, if y'all did, <clears throat> something, he definitely not going to be friends with the, them two not going to be friends no more. No, she's going to ruin a lot of stuff. Exactly. And that's your baby's ass, so y'all still going to have to be in each other's lives, mm -hmm. but you now with his friend. No. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. No. His family ain't gonna like it. Everybody, mm -mm. everybody gonna be bad at you. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, girl, no. And then you don't even know if this relationship is gonna work. You just <laughs> see a little part of this man. Okay? Yeah. So, yes. To answer your question, I, and you ain't, you ain't got to tell because you haven't done anything. Not tell. People have feelings throughout life. Right. You don't always have to tell a person everything about your life, whether you're married to them or not. Nope. How would you feel if your husband left you for your friend? Now your kids gotta be over his house with your friend as a stepmama. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Girl, no. Mm -hmm. Let the feelings go. Okay. As far as texting his friend, yeah, I think you should stop completely. I think you should definitely stop texting him. Don't do nothing that's gonna egg on your feelings for him. Or thoughts about him and all that. You know, the more you talk about him, of course you're going to be thinking about him. Mm -hmm. if you just got finished texting and then you in bed with your husband. You probably going to be thinking about the man because you just finished talking to him. No, exactly. don't do that. Exactly. Another thing that happens is people think they want something mm -hmm. and then they go and do it. Mm -hmm. And the moment they do it, Why they're do done. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you know, sometimes you just, you might be just trying to use him for some temporary satisfaction for something you're missing. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do that. Y'all, this sauce, I love it, but I can't eat this. I can't like this because it's too buttery. Mm -hmm. I can't be eating butter like that. That's a lot of butter. Very, try, very delicious. Try binnacle. Oh, no. I won't do that. I will try to make it. Y'all think I should try to water it? Do half butter and half water? I'm scared, but I would try that and see how it tastes. But no, I can't eat it. No, it's better. Mm. It's bomb, though. If anybody out there has been in the situation or going through it now, let us know in the comments. Let her know what happened. How did you deal with it? Did you end up giving the friend a chance? Are you and the friend now together? Do y'all have a baby and now your children and <laughs> your... I don't know. Your children have dads that are best friends? <laughs> Ex-best friends. Your oh, children's yeah, oh, dads yeah. hate each other. Ex-best friends. All right, y'all, if y'all like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and let us know what you guys think. Please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Make sure you set your post notifications to all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. And until next time, <sighs> only good vibes. Peace.